Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros, kids. Friday afternoon. These are the drunk shows. <sighs> Boy. That's, I'm, I'm getting real wasted today. I mean, just obliterated today. We're square in the, in the fucking nutsack of this recession. Yep. Uh, and it's only going to get worse, kids. I wish I could lie to you here and say everything's going to be fine. We are who we vote for, though. We are who we vote for. I've said that on the show a million times. I don't think it's possible. I didn't think it was possible uh, for a president to come in and fuck up a country this quickly. 18 well, you, months. You're old enough to remember Jimmy Carter, right? You were like 25 years sure old. Sure wasn't, was dude. Honest. Wasn't around for old Yimmy. It's a soft J in Peanut Georgia. Farming fuck. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't around for that, but I heard stories from my parents. Mm. Um, they would talk about the gas crisis and all the other shit, uh, which obviously we're going through now. Um, and then you see the, the interest rates are getting hiked again next month to another 0.75. That'll drive us ahead of where we were in 2008 when we had this housing crash and then obviously the rest of the economy crashed. Yeah. Um, so if you're out there and you're one of the 81 million people, allegedly, uh, who voted for this fucking guy, if you lose your job, you kind of deserve it at this point. Um, because whether or not you hated Trump's mean tweets, everything, everything was financially rolling. And let's face it, do we really fucking care about anything else unless everybody else is getting paid, able to make a living, able to put food on the table and all that other shit? Not really. Uh, there's a couple issues on right and left I think we all disagree on. And that's maybe about it. Finances certainly isn't one of them. Uh, and then you have this dipshit out in public today. Bob, can you play this clip here? Made in America. We're made in America with Joe Biden. I want you to hear these three words. Go ahead and play the clip, Bob. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. Nope. nope. Made in America. Now, that's three words. It's three words. Uh, are we combining maiden? Maybe it's like Iron Maiden. Well, it's not capitalized because it's, you know, not. Yeah, it's a lowercase it's, I, obviously, in yeah. that one. But maybe he's thinking of Iron Maiden, where it's just maiden America. Made in America ends with what, a preposition in that? Is that past part of the suppose no, the priest tense this instance? Who knows? It's a preposition. Yeah, who knows? So, I mean, if you if it was the title of a book, you wouldn't capitalize it. So I guess he didn't consider it a word. I think it might be a new metal band. <laughs> in this sentence, it is a preposition. Yeah. So, so I, you wouldn't use it in um, like an abbreviation, right? Mm. You'd skip it out. It'd be made in America would be M A. Yeah, I think this might be a new metal band. Made in America. Iron Maiden America? Yeah. And that might be what he's referring to. Not sure yet. I'm going to wait till uh, the album drops around Thanksgiving to confirm it. Uh, but we're all fucked. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be with you day in and day out during this. Uh, but it's not like it's getting that much better here in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing that Biden did yesterday that every president should have done for how many years now? 30, 40 years with marijuana? Uh, finally went through, and then uh, Governor Wheelchair, as we like to call him in this state, Four Wheels of Loneliness, uh, pop up this statement, Bob, and feel free to read aloud here. Now, now this statement is from Renee uh, Eze, who is the spokesperson for Abbott. Right. Uh, but obviously is this great, Sure, that's coming Abbott from his office, yeah. Right. Uh, Texas is not in the habit of taking criminal justice advice from the leader of the Defund the Police Party. And someone who has overseen a criminal justice system run amok with cashless bail and a revolving door for violent criminals. The governor of Texas can only pardon individuals who have been through the Texas Board of Pardons and Parole System with a recommendation for pardon. Yeah. Yeah. Is that in the Texas Constitution or something? Or what's she referring to there? I have no idea how the Texas pardon system works. Yeah, me neither. But uh, I know it is controlled by the state. Um, it was on our local news today. Uh, and they're going to make a decision on that. By the way, uh, we're in a midterm. I, like, I've never seen either party just not want to win whatsoever and just kind of say, fuck it. We'll see what happens, right? It's as if nobody has to fucking work or is concerned with a job, including wheelchair. Um, between this and the abortion bullshit with this fucking guy, <laughs> it's insane. Um, I saw Beto's fucking rally today. He might pull this off now. 
Uh, I don't know one person who doesn't want weed legalized. It's close. I know some people working on the campaigns here, and it's close. What are they saying? It's within three and a half, four points right now. God damn mm -hmm. it. I mean, just shut, like, even if you believed in this statement right here, shut the fuck up until after November. Shut up. Nothing's going to, into effect in the next four weeks. We are literally four weeks from today from this midterm election. Shut the fuck up. Whether you believe it or not, just shut up. He won, uh, Abbott won against Lupe Valdez um, in 2018 with f basically 56 to 43. Okay. And it's going to be. And I don't, I don't know him, by the way. So he has no re name uh, recognition like, Who's that? like Beto. Uh, Lupe Fiasco. Lu Lupe, Lupe is a woman. Uh, well, whoever. I don't, it doesn't really matter. She was uh, a sheriff in Dallas, actually. Okay. And then ran for governor. She, uh, they, it, she, it was basically just like, hey, somebody's got to do this. Yeah, it was and, a really bad campaign. Yeah. Like, I, I, remember, <laughs> I was here for it, obviously. And I was just, I remember getting to the ballot box and being like, who? Yeah, so an hour, by the way, after this statement was made, Beto immediately hit a fucking town hall and they cut into our local news to show that shit. And he's like, not only is this statement bullshit, I want to legalize marijuana. I want to tax it. I want to give it to the education system and everything else. And exactly what he should be doing. Uh, but you're four weeks away from this. I, I've never seen anything like what's going on here. Is it weird that the smartest motherfucker in the room might be Herschel Walker? Just coming out, just saying, I'm dumb. I don't care about the kids. Fuck them kids. All of it. Like, that might be the move at this point. Just to be dumb and honest. Well, that's kind of what Bill Clinton was. Yes. He was just kind of openly uh, a piece of shit. Y yeah. And people were like, ah, at least he's not lying. Well, you know what else? Like, during that time period, because uh, that I was alive for, fiscally, everybody was rolling. Everybody was doing well. Barely. Right. You were what? six seven years old at tops i'm and, 33 and, and now since so attracted yeah. yeah um but every the country was doing well everybody was rolling and that's why nobody really cared mm -hmm. that he was getting his dick sucked you can overlook everything somebody's doing trump included uh you could overlook the mean tweets and everything else because the country was rolling i feel like if the economy is good for most people then you, the president should be allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. Including cutting into Thursday night primetime, 8 o'clock, and then just jacking off live on yeah. air. Like anything short no of... No one would care. Anything short of like rape or murder. And ped like, pedophilia, and ped yes. Yeah, I mean like... Well, the, the, even uh, pedophilia, the now, Democrats well, overlook. But it, it's not just the Democrats, but it's uh, short of pedophilia, rape, and murder, you should be able to do pretty much whatever you want, provided the economy is good for <laughs> most of the country. <laughs> Why not, man? I, know. I mean... What do we expect that we're going to have a bunch of fucking uh, uh, monks running the government and shit? Is that the real expectation? Would you rather have a good man in office or somebody who does the job properly? Oh, boy. I'd rather everybody be able to pay for all their shit. Uh, and then just kind of overlook whoever the fuck is in there, to be honest with like you. Like you think the violence and stuff in these major cities is bad now? Wait until this recession really kicks in. Oh, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to get way, way worse before oh. it even approaches anything coming close to better. Because it's getting worse now. Yeah. And with all the stories that are coming out, just over the last 48 hours, uh, homeboy in Thailand fucking shooting everybody up. The thing in Vegas today, they're killing showgirls, dude. That was yesterday morning. Showgirls they're killing, yeah, Dan. So, so some dude, um, let's see, I think. Stabbed a bunch of people? Yoni... Barrios. Yoni, uh, Y-O-N-I. I'm not sure if that's like a typical uh, Latin American name or some shit or where, whatever, but um, it also means pussy. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Now y Yoni sunning is like when you fucking shine sunlight on your, on your vagina. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, he, outside of the Wynn Casino, Wynn, by the way, I believe that dude's getting sued right now for all kinds of weird shit. He is. He is. Um, so right outside between Wynn and uh, Resort, Resort World right there, I think, isn't there, it's right next to where that fucking uh, Avengers thing is too, the Marvel, mm -hmm. where, all, where you can see all those characters outside of where the fuck, where the, where the shopping mall is, Louis Vuitton and all that shit at the Palazzo when you're there. Uh, just stabbed eight people, I think. Two of them died. Yeah. 
Showgirls. And fucking four showgirls. Not even like it wasn't at night. I mean, look, Vegas is Vegas, so people are fucked up twenty four hours a day, depending sure. on when you're there. But in the morning. Like in the fucking wee hours of the fucking morning. Hold on, let's see what exactly what And time we're stabbing it is. showgirls, dude. And he uh, stabbed them allegedly because um well not allegedly, I guess the knife did go in there. Um but uh they wouldn't take a picture with him. Ah, you don't say outside? Yeah. On the strip? Yeah. Do you have a picture of him? I'll try to find him. Okay. Um, I, cause I know where that area is. Like the strip has kind of gotten like Hollywood Boulevard where, you know, you can take a, uh, a bunch of pictures with, uh, strippers or snakes or Superman, but it's usually not until depending Nighttime. on the time, yeah. depending on the time of year, sometimes in the, uh, the, once it starts to cool down, they'll be there earlier in the day, but not in the morning. It's like one, 2 PM forward. Not yeah. like, not yeah, like yeah. in the morning. Yeah. So this dude is just like, I don't know what these showgirls are doing. They're probably getting off work. There's the, here's a picture of him. Is that the guy? Yeah. Great. He looks great. Oh, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And this recession and everything else carries over into every facet of life. Because uh, then people start stealing and cheating for mm. money, uh, including chess champions, Dan. We have a, a chess champion who's been accused of cheating. They had to do x-rays of his asshole walking into a chess tournament. Well, they used uh, the, the article I read said scanner, but it kind of looked like it was a, a metal detector or something. So it, it was a, it looked like a wand yeah. that was going against his asshole. And what they're saying is that he was cheating, possibly using a rectal buzzer, <laughs> which is awesome. Now, you and I both know uh, from the cruise that you can use an anal vibrator and just kind of control it from your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's, I mean, that's easy there. Um, pop this guy up on screen. Let's take a look sees at him. How many times, because he beat, like, the best in the world, right? He beat all the Russian dudes. It was, it's like the equivalent, and, and chess is a lot like uh, tennis in that, like, the top three or four guys never fucking lose. Like, ever. ever. Yeah, he ever. He's up and coming, though. I think uh, he learned... <laughs> He learned this tactic from his uh, chess mentor. With the asshole beads? The asshole, asshole the beads? anal beads? Yeah. Okay. Because he's. it says that he's cheated more than 100 times there. All of these chess things, I, I know it sounds weird uh, when you hear it at first, but there's actually a lot of prize money attached mm -hmm. to this shit, um, which is why they do it. And it's unbelievably stressful. Uh, what was that show on Netflix, The Queen's Gambit? Um, that that kind of detailed mm -hmm. that world. And it wasn't that far off, except it was a woman. And let's face it, a woman would never, never be a chess champion, okay? Isn't that based on a true story? Yeah, but she, came, she finished in like 9th or 13th or something like, like that. Like Danica Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> she finished like two of the races she started, and it was like, no, we good woman did it. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. Although, you know, when it comes to driving, what, some of the top rally car drivers in the world and co-drivers are women. Are they really? Yeah, but in chess, where you like, look, it's not – sweeping it's not dishes like, sure i not gonna be good at it brother no. come on i mean no offense <laughs> ladies <My> thing <laughs> there is. are no there are obviously no ladies here no, no we no. got a three percent demo on women on this no. show and we probably just killed that right yeah, there. i mean it, it should be so much easier for them at least just based on cheating like you got an extra slot for the buzzer sure do oh yeah so sure it's do. like uh the pussy rattles if it's a good move and the butthole rattles <laughs> if yeah, it's a bad yeah, move. yeah yeah onesie twosie why not man? we don't have that we don't um, have that. I mean, you could jam one of those things up your dick hole, I guess. I guess. Yeah, you could go sounding. Ugh. <laughs> God, dude. That'd Again, can, did we ever figure out why it's called that? Like it's a, like, a, like sonar. It's, it's a like sound a, like the geographical feature? Like the, the sounds up in the Pacific Northwest? No, or it's is because it, it's the... So sounding is literally the action or process of measuring the depth of sea or a body of water. Mm, so fathoms, then. Yeah. yeah. So it's basically... Based on that. By the way, uh, people have done jokes about this for years, but I just want to remind our audience, as they probably never read the book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, a league yeah. is a measure of distance, not depth. A yeah. fathom is a measure of depth. Yeah. So just to be clear. Obviously. Obviously. So if you dummies at home didn't know that, read a fucking book. I, well, don't read that one because they didn't even get it right in the book. Didn't like, they? I'm didn't... supposed to take these people seriously. Arthur Clarke wrote great science fiction, and he was accurate in the stuff he said, yeah. right? That's what I like. Who's, I the, who's the piece of shit that wrote 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Who is that guy? 
Let's shame him right now. It then. was Jules Verne. Oh, fuck him, dude. Fuck Jules Verne. Let's dig him up and fucking destroy yeah. him. Yeah. Wait, is this, a, is this a sounding thing? Is this the sounding right there? This is a guy got his whole pinky into the... Oh! <laughs> into the what? <laughs> into the pee hole. Oh, that's a pinky that's and a nice. dick hole, right? Yeah, there. that's a pinky yeah, and a yeah, dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pinky and a dick hole sounds like a fucking band. Yeah, and so this one, by the way, you're not going to get me on. You're not going to get me on this thing. <laughs> no. You could blast this all day long. You know why? In the hospital last year, catheter up my dick hole every single yeah, day you, for 45 days. You, I had to deal with that of like, hang on, you're going to feel some discomforts. <laughs> and then it's just, see this pen? Boom, it's right into the back of the dick. Every single day. Yeah, you got turned Once out. Once a day for 45 days, dude. They had to give you that extra large catheter, too, didn't they? Oh, oh it, was a, it was a thick cath catheter. I mean, you know, for someone like you. Ah, uh, bro. What does that mean? Not that I have a girthy uh, tube. I don't want that out there. I don't want people to think, like, oh, hey. You got loose dick? Yeah, he's got a, he's got a real loose tube in like that all dick. Like all the ladies talk about it. Yeah, it's you like, need a tight tube, dude. Like, yeah, I fucked, for shooting. I fucked Ross, and it, the cum just kind of leaked out of the end. It, it's just kind of. It was like when you barely turn the hose on. Yeah. Uh, you don't want it to be too tight. You don't. That's, that's, that, that's well, you just got to pinch it at a certain spot just the same way that you would put your thumb over the end of the hose. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just spray it. Yeah, you yeah. Want, you want, I want the flat spray just to cover the whole face. Right. Or whatever. Same. Uterus. Same face, yeah. chest, back, arms, legs, calves, walls, head, paintings. Shoulders, yeah, head and shoulders, knees and toes. Yeah. And so, yeah. Like all of it. That's actually what that song's them. about. A lot of people don't know that. Is it really? It's a children's song to prepare them for how, to know later head, in life. Head, yeah. shoulders, knees and toes, yeah. knees and toes. Yeah. Like you can, you can lay a foundation without actually sexualizing it. And this is something that public education needs to understand. Yeah, it's about the urethra. Yeah, you don't it's have not to, about You don't have to else. talk about all the weird shit. You can just kind of fucking lay the mechanical groundwork and then later on they'll feel, oh, that's what that meant. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, You don't yeah. have to get into the kid's head that early. Not at all. But uh, you can do it uh, in a way that they'll understand later. Mm -hmm. There's another uh, popular child song called Daddy Finger. Have you heard that one? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> oh, you're going to hear troubling. that. Daddy Finger, Daddy Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? It is all over YouTube. I've seen it one million times to the to the point where it is drilled into my head, and I'm saying, and every time I'm shocked by it, where it's just like, all right, I, what's the daddy finger? That sounds, you know how in like the 70s and 60s they were like, there's there's hidden demon messages in rock and roll, like play the record backwards. Yeah, yeah I'm convinced that there's some horrifying message inside of that song. Probably type in the daddy finger song well, I'm on looking, Google. I'm looking at it now. And okay. it's like a kids show where. A hand as a family and the dad. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the kids. what's the name of the thing? It's a huge show on YouTube. The That's Finger it. Family Song is what it's called. <laughs> Which That's not better. That's not. No. There's no way to make this better. No. Sure Ma isn't. God damn it. Yeah. Man. Why would the Don't play it? We'll get dinged, Bob. Don't I can tell you that. Okay. It's one of the biggest channels on YouTube, I believe. I think it's from the UK too, because they say mummy finger and not mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, mummy finger could be Brendan Fraser as well. We I don't know. think they can afford no, the, Brendan Fraser. <laughs> he's a fucking Oscar winner. Well, he's coming oh, he's back. He's going to be an Oscar winner. Yeah. Like, mummy finger is something very few people other than morticians get to do. Yeah. If they're lucky. Yeah. If they're lucky. Uh, but to continue this trend, uh, as far as the desperation goes and recession and everything else, there's these cheating motherfuckers up in Michigan who are rigging a fishing contest um, they're putting, they got caught putting weights inside of fish and then filet on top of the fish inside the fish's now, mouth. Now, let me ask you this. How do you know that the fish didn't just eat those weights on their own and then eat filet after? Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's a great question. Um, it, it was because the guys actually admitted it when they cut them open in front of all the other fishermen. Bob, can you play that clip for us? Yeah, there? I think this is it with him. Yeah. Here we go! I thought they were going to riot at this point. No lie. Where's the other one? Call the cops. Call the cops, dude. I want you to leave. I don't want anybody to touch these guys. I want you to leave. Call the cops. There they are. So there's the fish. So he's about to cut it open right now after they're screaming at him. So now you can see what's inside these fish, Dan. 
Look at those. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow, dude. I mean, we all fucking knew it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I mean, those are heavy ones. That's the heaviest sinker you could have right there. Unless you're out deep sea fishing. So they put a fillet in on top of it. Um, that way, if somebody put their finger inside the fish's mouth, it would still feel like a fish. Weights were at the bottom. The old man's laughing there. He's, he doesn't have a dog in this fight. He's just happy to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. So when he's saying you took all that fucking money, they got sponsorship money, they got a boat. Uh, if you see Homeboy there with the, the sponsors across his back and everything else. We now know who, a lot of people who sponsor fishing. It's, who's, a, it's, a, it's a big sport. Who's the perpetrator here? The team itself. Yeah, but where? which guys in the video are the perpetrators? Uh, they're right behind camera, so it was over their shoulders. So the, the, the guy that they kind of caught the back of, uh, and then they'll kind of pan in here, and you can see all the weights in there. Look at how many fucking weights are inside there. You fucked over a lot of people, man. <laughs> you fucked over a lot of people, man. He's the fucking shit. You got a fucking boat. You got thousands of fucking dollars. You stole from everyone. You stole from everyone. You sure did. You sure did. Man, if there is a sport where you would expect a shooting between two people, like right mm. there in the middle of the game. 100%. I'm surprised this didn't go full J6. Like at that point, it would have been justified. I'm calling my cousins. Yeah. They're all coming down here from the holler. I'm going to pop the fucking trunk, dog. I'm going to pop that fucking trunk, dog. I don't think any of these guys needs to pop the trunk. I'm assuming that they're armed already. Right? Yeah. So why didn't somebody get dropped here is what I couldn't figure out after watching this footage. Um, because that's the event to do it at. You, no, 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 no. Not, don't disgrace the honorable sport of fishing. I'm but, not, dude. I mean, I like so much cheating. But here's, Sorry, here's, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me back up there. <laughs> the what? The honorable sport of fishing. No, honorable sport. It's, it's not a sport. It sure is, Dan. It's something you do to it's a hobby. relax. See, just like golf. Golf is not a sport. When actual athletes right, go on vacation, <laughs> what do they do? They fucking play golf, don't That's they? Right, they don't and they fish. fish. On their day off. <laughs> you same with fishing. fishing. Same with fishing. Breaker. Same with fishing. Unless you're a fucking like ice fisher out in the on like the deep sea dudes. That Doing are, it for a living. Whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what they're called, but... Uh, where it's actually dangerous. Pounds of torque in that line, Dan. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Unless there's got to be uh, some physical competition involved for it to be a That's sport. That's true, Dan. Uh, nothing is sacred anymore. Uh, Rob, if you want to pull it up, there was a major scandal that just broke yesterday oh, in a huge sport of Irish dancing. Oh, shit. What was the scandal in that yeah, one? How do you cheat in Irish Well, dancing? you have to because, again, people are desperate right now. They need money quickly. What, let's see the scandal in this fucking thing. I heard about it, but how do you cheat so in the Irish dancing? Teachers would uh, exchange sexual favors to the judges for wow. better scores. A victimless crime that's there. there is there not, an applause for that? Like, I, that's a victimless crime. That's not cheating. That's bribery. It's not the same yeah, thing. Yeah, that's bribery. That used to happen in all the Miss America pageants. It's happened at literally every FIFA tournament that's ever happened. <laughs> I'm not... They, people have gone to jail for it, dude. I'm not making it up. They're, they are getting prostitutes uh, to get, you know, the host city and all that other shit. What was the one that uh, it was estimated $280,000 of prostitutes were spent on trying to bribe these guys to get the... The city for the world. I Cup. gotta know. Oh, that ha sounds like Qatar to me. Yeah, just just yeah. Mean, just no. for context, I need to know what the quality of the prostitutes were because that might not be that much. I agree. Two hundred eighty k. That's not that much money. Divisible by forty ish. Maybe? Yeah, but no. but hang on. So let's say you're the judges on that other side, right? Whatever prostitute shows up to suck your dick, are you really turning it down unless it's bad? No, but like we're talking that much money, like. I want a squad. I want them to do a human pyramid. I want to lay on top of them. Like, right, I, right, right. You want that. Right. But if you've already paid for it, right, and then you send them to the room or whatever the fuck it is they're going to do, then it's up to them. You're kind of out of the equation. Now, if you're the judges or the people making the decision, uh, in this case for FIFA or the judges in this Irish thing, I don't think you're angry about anybody showing up for a beach or, you know, some mish. Like, I don't think you're you're upset about whatever you're getting that day. You're kind of just lucky that it's happening. You think that way, but you get accustomed to the life. Yeah, you only become a judge in something like that for the puss. I agree. Right? I agree. But if either, it, like, it probably starts off as just the, the position and the reputation, and you get the puss like that. Uh-huh. 
and you still have to use some of your your moxie, I guess. And then over time, as you gain power, it's just it's just this waterfall of pussy. Yeah, you're just drunk on pussy. Yeah, just drunk like, a, and then it starts to get weird, right? Yeah, and then the prices go up. So prices yeah, always go up. Yeah. But it's kind of like a, a strip club DJ or a, one of those guys on spring break who's got the rubber shark over the microphone and he's telling everybody to get inside the foam pit. You're not really choosy of the quality of pussy as long as you're still drowning in it mm-hmm. on a night-by-night basis, and, right? And look, if it was Qatar uh-huh. that, that used prostitutes to bribe FIFA officials, I think the draw was probably more their age than anything else, yeah. or, or I guess lack thereof. Or the fact that they're from uh, Western countries and it, nobody really cares if they make it back home. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but a, a listener had sent us uh, some, some new porn that I hadn't seen before the other day, and this will feed into the, the desperation of it and whether or not anybody cares who's sucking their dick. It was crack whore porn. Have you guys seen this? Well, maybe not this video. No, no, no. I, it, it's, a, it's a whole genre. So it's a whole genre on Pornhub oh, of crack whore porn. And what they're doing is just paying crack whores off the street to suck their dicks in the cars. And then the guys are blurred, like their faces are blurred out and you can see it. The name is pretty self-explanatory. It sure is. Now, after this listener sent it to me, and I, I would say his name on air, but I don't want to shame him because I know he was trying to help the program. Because maybe there is a, a segment of our listeners who want to get off Pornhub. on things like this. Uh, yes, it was on Pornhub. The, the link was from, from Pornhub. Uh, Pornhub's trying to do a better job, like not... The we- non-consent, barely non-consent. consent. Well, I watched it. I watched the link that he sent me, right? And then it, it had uh, recommended videos, and it was a whole oh, segment of crack core. Well, no free ads, Bob. <laughs> yeah, um, there's definitely crack core porn, though. That's a thing. Yeah. And to be honest, look. Sc- uh, scroll through, Bob. Let me, let me show in the car. They need crack. No, this is at home. He's he he uh, on no, no, no. an air mattress. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was in a car, and then there was pro- maybe about 40 videos underneath it that was the same and they were real crack whores, like you could tell. This wasn't oh, like a, well, here's a porn d- where you kind of dirty somebody up. And then there, yeah, and then there was homeless people, too, well, on top of that. That's the one we just found now. There you go. I mean, this is definitely a different one. Oh, boy. Yeah. In which. Yep, 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 yep. yep. So, oh, boy. Yeah. Now, they're outdoors. They sure are. Yeah, the great outdoors. <laughs> so me and Register were propositioned by a woman quite similar to this walking from Chipotle one day. At the old studio? Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. She stopped a couple people. Um, I think Joel's first day, he was like, hey, is it unusual to be stuck by a, a, a crack whore and then offered a blowjob for $40? First blow job was from this lady? No, 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 he didn't get one. That's but exactly he, what you were nodding and smiling. He, oh. he asked about it, of $40 for this crack whore, and I was like, you know, Wait, forty dollars for a blowjob in Austin? That's way dude inflation, bro. Yeah, inflation's, inflation's hurting everybody. Fucking us up. Inflation. That's too much. What would that be normally? Twenty at most. Oof, a, a blowjob from a stranger for twenty. If they're propositioning you, yeah, twenty. Okay. Okay. Oh, is this it? I look, there's a, there's a million. I watched like I I leaf through like thirty of them. Oh, I think uh, I think to prove. Oh, God to, damn it! Yeah, it was, to, there's they're all identical to that. By the yeah. way, to pr- white black, there was no set race. She has a sore, a large sure does. That's well, that, that's from something else. Yeah, that's and, an abscess. That's not gonna be contagious. Oh, on top of her head. Oh, no. no, on this on their jaw right. Oh, now. Yeah. Okay, okay. God damn yeah. it! What's on top of her head then? What is that? I think uh, that's a that's hand. his hand. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, he's face got it. Got it. Her. Got it. And look, this Jeez. is like I mean, knocking some of the cobwebs off from earlier in the day for her. So it's like a win-win. I think <laughs> this is knocking some of the cobwebs off for me. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, to to Ross's point here, you're not going to be able to find the video because there's thousands of them. Thousands. Thousands. I didn't know this was a whole subgenre of porn, and I uh, was introduced to that by a listener. Thank you very much. Oh, this seems like to be man on. Oh no, it's man female. Atla- yeah, uh, is that is that called is, Atlanta facials? Yeah, drained my sperm on Chloe face, a streetwalker in the bluff. In Atlanta, in snow in the bluff. God damn it, dude! In Atlanta, I mean, shit. That's hard. This one's hard to watch, Bob. You always find the worst of it. You know, you never find the best of it. You didn't. And we've got to look at it. Look, uh, I mean, just shout out to the person who uploaded it, Jamal Anal King. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that a uh, is that an actual honorific title, or is he just making that up? He is verified. Is he really? Well, on Pornhub though. Which <laughs> yeah, but you still have hey, to send that are, email are of you? like, hey, are you Jamal yeah. Anal King? Congratulations, I, you've been verified. A blue check's a blue check. I it guess. sure is. Oh, boy. 
dude. Atlanta facials. <sighs> We're there. That's where we are. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I don't know what there is. I, it's, I, it's, uh, there is, uh, is the Great Depression, friend. That's it. And uh, Jamal Anal King uh, is probably our new leader. I, you know, he's got experience. He's a king. He yeah, yeah. Me. yeah. No, yeah. me actually. He's got royalty in his in his blood. Now, what's the? Uh, this is uh, ebony it, mature. Well, hold on. Oh. Let, don't, let, we're, not, we're not moving on yet because <laughs> I want to know what the succession plan is for the anal king, right? Is oh it, yeah, who's underneath him? Yeah. Well, who's the prince? You would think it's some sort of the anal prince. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Arth- Arthurian situation. Right? Sure. Yeah. Like, like a sword and stone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, if, <laughs> he who gapes the widest. Some dude shows up with a giant hog and, and it's like, oh. Shit. Yeah. Or, you know, you, how do you establish anal street cred? Well, poppers. Anal know, street cred. Poppers. Anal street cred is the new name of this show. I don't mean the episode. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Drinking Bros is over. <laughs> and this show is now called Anal Street Cred. <laughs> Can you go ahead and get that website for us? Yeah, <laughs> analstreetcred.com. Uh, I want dot .org, dot .gov, dot .us. I want all of them. EDU as well, because it's, yeah, it's an thing. education. Yeah, it's an education. It's an education. You will be learning. Anal Street Cred. It's the new podcast. Could you imagine? It was just a gaping butthole as our thumbnail. And that went out. Like, people are driving to work with just a gaping thumbnail that just said anal street cred. And it's the anal boys. And we're just next to, like, a spread gaping anus, dude, throwing up peace signs. Pigeons fly as we walk down the street. We're not far. We're not far away from that. I wish I'd love to say we're above it, but we're not. No. We're not above that at no, all. We're right online with that. Right yeah. on time with that. <laughs> and if you are going to have anal, do it on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. They love when we, when we say this. They love it. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, look, invite a nice streetwalker into your home, into your ghost bed. Yeah. And, uh, you know, behave respectively sure but part of the safety is having <laughs> the mattress protector right because it's, yours, it's right there you don't want street walker all over your bed you don't you yeah. don't do luke street walker it's gonna uh, be <laughs> fucking it's not what you want brother that that merch sells itself <laughs> yeah sure does <laughs> it sure does dude luke and leah street walker atlanta facials if you're out there getting an atlanta facial do it on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash stringer 30 percent off and they're giving two free pillows away they've had a ton of deals they're trying to help us get through the recession we're just at the beginning of this so oh boy ghost bed thank you you're doing all the things. Promo code Drinking Bros. Pop everything in the, in the cart. Sheets, uh, pillows, the adjustable base. Whatever you want. Put it in the cart 30% off. You want 40% off. You got to get the adjustable base and the mattress combined together for one magical evening of, of lovemaking. It's not one. It'll last for the rest of your life probably. Well worth it. It's got a remote control, USB ports, flashlights, you name it. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros on the bottom of the page. When you check out, you're going to see a 60 month pay as you go program. No interest. As long as you have <coughs> decent credit there at ghostbed.com forward slash flash stringer bros. There it is. I was waiting for it all day. We're, ha- we're, we're going through it today. Yeah. Um, when you check that box, all the deals are going to be good with that one. And you can, uh, you can walk out of there with a brand new bedroom set for about 25 bucks a month. D'Anthony. Yeah. What do we got next? The store? That's five, store next? That's five years, by the way, 60 months. Sure it is. That's about how sure long the average mattress lasts. So you can, it's almost like buying a car at this point. You just pay it on it as you go for six years or for five years and then yeah. you get a new one at that point. Yeah. It's a really good fucking deal. And uh, and then they make them in what? In two words? Made in America, right? Ah, oh, man. I, I don't know. So. I can't I count. So. I'm not really a math guy. What do we got? The store up next. Support the show, kids. In this dark time that we're in, uh, go to drinkingbros.com. Click on the store and uh, and buy some merch, okay? Buy some merch. We need it. Uh, we're stocked up. Fall is here. Uh, for a lot of you in the rest of the country, other than Texas, you're having fall. Mm. And it looks fun online, you know? You guys are bundled up. Sweater weather in a lot of the, the nation here. 92, 92 fucking degrees. Just ordered another pair of shorts yesterday, actually. That's not a lie. Uh, we don't sell shorts, but we are soon. We got some thigh huggers mm-hmm. coming out. Uh, and that's going to be for the state of Texas because we're, 
living on the surface of the goddamn sun here. And uh, the rest of you, though, shit, we got, we got uh, sport tech hoodies for everybody else, hats, glassware, you name it. Uh, we got it in the store, and it supports the show. Go to drinkingbros.com, click on the store link. Uh, last but not least, hardafseltzer.com, live in Tennessee, 95 stores. There is a store locator on there. Uh, you just click it, whatever zip code, city you're in, and the, the Google map will take you right there. Uh, new cans just finished yesterday. Uh, those will be out probably towards the end of the month back online at hardafseltzer.com. We're just waiting. Uh, the They're getting distri- boxed up. Distributors down at Fort Myers, and as you know, they got butt-fucked by this. Correct. Uh, they got killed. Thing. They so got Those guys got killed down there. They're just putting, their, putting everything back together so they can do it. Yeah, That's man. It. It's been a rough sitch down in Florida. Uh, that's where the loophole is. We ship out of Florida. Um, as if things couldn't get worse. Well, they did, didn't they? Uh, go to hardafseltzer.com. Find a store in Tennessee and just drive there and buy a 12-pack. That also helps the show, and it's great. Um, but the Irish dancers, what were they cheating of, Bob? What was it? What was the verdict of those fucks? There was the fucking the judges. Yeah. Mm. So <clears throat> they're teachers and... Maybe the contestants. But were... Let me rephrase. How did they get caught, though? Mm. Was it a check, like a Jerry Springer sitch? Um, how, how did they get caught for fucking these uh, prostitutes and things like that? Someone that wasn't cool. No, I understand that. It's yeah. always, look, it, all, all the cool shit gets ruined by somebody who isn't cool. I understand that. You got to do crypto for prostitutes now, though, right? It's Cryptitude. It's a new, it's an app that I'm developing for. Cryptitude? Pro- yeah, Cryptitude uh, app, and you just... It's, it uses the blockchain right, okay. to schedule your fucking hookup and to pay. Well, how's crypto going? I'm going to pull it up on my phone here. Let's see how that's going these days. How's the market going? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, Bitcoin's under 20. Mm-hmm. Ethereum's at 1,300. Well, I can tell you how NFTs are going because uh, <laughs> Logan Paul bought one for $650,000 a year and a half ago, and it's now worth 10. 10. Not 10,000. Nope. $10. $10. Well, you love to see it. Eh. Uh, market they, is down 765 points. We're not even near closing yet. No, we're got, we're about to see. Uh, we, we may go into a depression. A dip, I, we'll see how it goes. I don't even know if we'll be here anymore uh, at this rate. I mean, this lu- luckily, fucking crazy. Luckily, dude. there's a lot of Axis deer in Texas, and it doesn't really get that cold. Yeah, and there's squatters' rights. Um, so there's that. Uh, but this just it, it can't get any worse wait till those gas prices by the way we didn't even talk about that it OPEC. yeah it hasn't made it here yet yeah so it made it to los angeles mm-hmm. uh can you tell the audience what is happening with opec so russia cut a deal with who is it saudi arabia mm, well yeah there's so opec is a is a consortium of a, a bunch of middle eastern countries that you know uh produce oil mm-hmm. on, on the on the international stage so I think I, I honestly don't know what the big plan for Europe was. I really don't know what their plan was, especially in Germany, where they shut down all their nuclear facilities. Right. Once they sh- started shutting down those nuclear facilities, they were pretty much they were counting on being able to make deals with either Russia or Saudi Arabia or OPEC. Right. Like that's your that's, those are your only options. Yeah. R- realistically, those are your only options because, as our buddy uh, Alex likes to say, this shit is not ready. Like fo- we need fossil fuels for a while still. Uh-huh. Um, and now they're in the same way that we are, but to a greater degree between a rock and a hard place, because you're not drilling for oil anywhere in Europe. That's not happening. There is this. It's not a thing there. Right. Yeah. Like here in America, we've got places where you can extract oil from the ground, but we, we're not doing it. We, well, I mean, wanna, we'll see if that continues, but we, if worse comes to worse and all of society starts to collapse, we'll just go start drilling for oil. Like everybody in power will get murdered by the mob or whatever the fuck, and we'll start drilling for oil. That's not even an option in Europe. Mm-hmm. Like they're going to have to go back to the old days where they're fighting wars of conquest to get resources. Yeah. That's, the, that's the position you're putting yourself in. But it has hit America financially already. Oh, yeah. So um, uh, gas prices in L.A. I think are up to $8.83. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw that sign on the news. Somebody was reporting what they always do. I know the gas station they go to too, and they camp right out in front of it. And they're like, Hey guys. And it's in the background. You can see the eight thirty eight. There's it one. hasn't swept across the country yet, yeah. uh, but it's coming. And, uh, the Biden administration is pissed off because they, they think that they're, uh, deliberately trying to affect the midterm elections. Um, and, uh, uh I mean, you can't, that's fucking stupid. 
Does he at what and if you're out there and you're a fucking voter and you think that Saudi Arabia and Russia want Republicans in power, you're fucking stupid. Let's that's be what I, that's, really that's what frank I about too. that. Yeah. That's fucking dumb. That's dumb. What happened when the, like this whole Trump Russia collusion thing? What happened when Trump was in office? We got off the Russian natural gas hit. Mm. Like we were almost entirely energy independent, which fucked over Russia and it fucked over OPEC. And all of a sudden, people expect you to believe that he was somehow playing ball with those two people. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. No. The only thing they care about is money. That's it. As a matter of fact, uh, same thing with China. All they care about is money. They're like chess moves for position, power, and money. That's all it is. And we should, too. Hong Kong is now about to spend. I'm not even kidding. They're about to spend uh, uh, $250 million giving people free plane rides. To Hong Kong because their tourism is so fucked up. They're going to invest $250 million in getting Westerners to come to Hong Kong. That, that, really? that news was announced yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the news that was announced uh, this morning was 23 million Californians will get inflation relief payments starting today. Um, what does that mean? That's fun. Uh, this is on NBC. You're just printing money and making inflation worse. So Gavin Newsom uh, said that uh, 23 million state residents will receive up to $1,000, uh, which he called the largest tax rebate in the country. Why should we be stoked about that? Well, I mean, think about, uh, think they, about what he's saying. He's saying, uh, I'm going to do you guys a favor and give you some of your own money back. That's all because, it is. Because we fucked up so badly with your money and with running the country. We're going to give you some of your money back. Now vote for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, ca- you, better, you better think that whole thing through, bud. <laughs> California does have a record surplus. high surplus. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, they, yeah. Because they've correct, collected a uh, record high amount in taxes. Yeah. Sure have. Just like the federal government has. They've and collected it's... more in taxes already this year by the end of September than they have in the history of this country, just in one, just in nine months. And they have the highest state taxes in the entire country, and they're only getting higher. So Gavin wants to raise those another 3% on top of the 13.5 to bump that up to 16.5. And, a half. and uh, congratulations, I guess. You're just getting your own money back at that point. <laughs> I mean, imagine the fucking... This is like... Do you remember the... Um, Dave Chappelle telling that story about what was it, Iceberg Slim, the pimp, uh-huh. and he, he the guy wrote a book about how like somebody asked him how do you get these uh, prostitutes to be so loyal to? Oh you? yeah, yeah, yeah. He was telling me, yeah, yeah. And he says, I'll go in there with like a fucking extension cord and whip the shit out of them, and then give them some pills. And, and I come back like, all right, I'll yeah. take care of you now. Yeah, this is American politics. Yeah, that's how it works now. They fuck you up, right, and then come to your rescue. It's it's like a, an emotional pyramid scheme almost. This is, uh, uh, man, and I can't believe people still fucking entertain this. I can't either. So the first round of payments are coming out between October 7th and 25th. So this is not like a a pipe dream of like, hey, we're going to put this out there uh, before the election. And, uh, you know, it's nice to think about and everything else. This is actually going down right now. Um, And to my knowledge, he doesn't really have a challenger Mm -hmm. uh, for this year, right? Who, uh, Newsom? Yeah. I I don't even know who is running against him. Well, he got recalled. Yeah, but there's an election in November. I don't even know. Is there an election in November for him? There is. Yeah. And who's that person? I'll try to find it. Is it another Lupe fiasco where nobody really gives a shit? Yes. Okay. So he's going to win again, and it doesn't really matter at that point. Um, But if you're there in California, how are you this dumb that you're just getting this money and you're like, oh, Thank, thank, thank God the governor's here to protect us. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like throwing a bunch of rattlesnakes into a room. Oh my and then, God. Yeah. Then you come in and like, like kill all of them. Like, Hey, you guys are welcome. Uh, Brian Dolly <laughs> is the, uh, person. Right Anybody ever heard of him? Yeah. yeah. Big fan of his work. Um, those who filed a paper tax return or received a refund check will receive the payment via a debit card in the mail. Sounds a lot like welfare to me. Debit cards will be mailed between October 25th and December 10th. So if you're in California and you're wondering, how am I going to get this cash? They're going to send you a fun debit card, just like 80 other phony fucking companies send you every single week. But look out for this one. This actually has real money on it. Um, And this is those who received a previous Golden State stimulus check. Stimmy, baby. That's stimmy, dog. I like how they word it with the Golden State, too, because that makes it sound nicer than what it is, yeah. other than a homeless encampment. Well, I mean, isn't New Jersey the Garden State? 
It is. And there's, I haven't seen one garden there. there and I love you, New Jersey. I used <laughs> yeah, to have a house there for years. But no, I love you. No garden. Never seen one garden yeah. there. And if you do see a garden there, it's probably weed at this point, right? Or it's, it's Springsteen's secret garden, mm. and that's it. He's well, a Jersey guy. I guess. He's out there for the working man. Every day down in the coal mine, trying to keep these parakeets alive. <laughs> Fucking Springsteen, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah we're place. all fucked. Um, so I'm looking at the numbers here. Um, who is eligible for these mm. refunds? Uh, this is great. So if you make 150k or less, it's 700 dollars. All right. Now if you have a dependent, you get uh, 1,050 dollars. It's a one-time payment of 700 dollars. Sure is. <laughs> the fuck are you gonna do with that? <laughs> Spend it, dude. There's got to be some PlayStations out there on Craigslist, right? No, nah, but they're eight. Are they? Eight, eight, eight fifty. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta have a kid, dog. You gotta have a kid then and bump that up to ten fifty. Yeah, then you can get the PlayStation and maybe an, the second controller as well. <laughs> that way you can play with the kid as the world burns down around you. <laughs> While you're starving to death, you'll have something to do. No, until they, they shut go. the power off, of course. No, you can't get the Fuck. second controller. You gotta get a, gotta get a cool game, and then you kid can trade off. Yeah. No, you can just get fucking Fortnite and play for free. That's true. You can still download it for free, as long as you can still afford internet, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so the Californians' inflation relief payments are part of the $308 billion state budget approved earlier this year by California lawmakers. So I, this might not have anything to do with their taxes. Mm. They just approved this. Um, the inflation relief package amounts to $17 billion of California's budget, providing relief to millions of taxpayers. Sweet. Yeah. So, so it'll be fine, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it'll be fine. Uh, all of it's going to be fine. Totally fine. You're fine. Kick back, drink a 8% seltzer, watch the world burn. You're all going to be fine. We're all going to be fine. Stop paying your bills. <laughs> Stop buying, start it, buying booze. It'll, that's, it, that's, that's what happens. Like, seriously, that's what happens. That's why uh, certain things, uh, gambling, Booze, use, gambling, gambling, use, booze. I don't, yeah. I don't know if gambling is is was has been like that over the last forty or fifty years since like the FBI started cracking down on. But now that it's become more legalized, I think maybe gambling might Through be the roof. recession yes, proof. Yes, yes, yeah. and then booze. Yep, those are the two things that usually make it well in prostitution. But yeah, which is why, it, like, look, now that we've had a few today, I'll be fucking. We'll get real. Let's get fucking super real today. Um, we do drink and bro sports. We do it every single week. We do spreads for college football, NFL, all that shit. The only deal we made with our, with our gambling advertiser there, mybookie.com, and, and those guys have been rad to us. Mm -hmm. I'm not shitting on them. As I said, I wouldn't pick people that I didn't think were going to win. So Dan and I passed on a lot of these games. because I don't, I, I don't think there's a shot to win. I'm not going to fucking tell you. I'm just not going to do that. Case in point last night. Did you watch that game last night? Uh, no, I watched about five minutes of it, tweeted, this game is unwatchable, and then went into my bedroom and pounded off. Yeah. 12 First half under. 12 to 9. The, what do you mean the, the first half under? You could have, that, they could have played. Life under. They could have played life for under. six months and not scored 30 points in that game. It was 12 to 9, including a full overtime period. I've never seen a game that bad in my life. Some of my friends from, from college were there. And, you know, they spent money on a suite and everything else. And they were just like, it was like a once in a lifetime trip for those guys. And they were just like, this is the worst game ever. I don't know if I should be happy or sad that I was there just so you have like a badge of honor to say you were the worst football mm. game ever played. It was beautiful. The well, we were, the at the worst, we were at the worst Super Bowl probably, at least in our lifetime. I can't think of one that was worse than that. Maybe, but 12 to 9 and then The Russell Super Bowl Wilson, we went to was 13 to 3. Sure was. Sure was. Why? You're forgetting the Dolphins Steelers Monday night game 3 0. Well, that one, wasn't that like a weather thing? Yeah, it was in like a hurricane. It was in a hurricane. Like this, no weather. No weather. You had a quarterback you just paid $250 million to, and Russ. What do you think it is? Russell Wilson. What's going on with him? Uh, I think his, his arm is dead. I think it looked dead last year, and, uh, and then he got hurt again on top of it. Um, I think all the bullshit, it, like, I think all the bullshit that he does social media wise, uh, Ciara filing <laughs> trademarks. But he's also else. one of those guys. I think guys. it's too much and it's all too heavy. When you want to be the guy that bad, like around the world, and you're trying to create this persona around you, I think it's so much pressure and you just fucking fail. He was missing easy reads last night. Yeah. And uh, that's what I think. I think it's just all the extra shit. I really do. All the extra shit is just too much, and it, it caused him to fold. I mean, he's never been great. Really. No, no. You know, I mean, he's. I think his career. Let's see. I'm looking now. His career high in yards in a season is 4,200, basically. Mm -hmm. 
That's okay. Right? For now, yeah. For now. For, for the present era. Yeah. Uh, he led the league in touchdowns one year. Uh, yeah, two years ago. No, it was uh, 2017. Oh, he really? Through 34. 34? Five years I mean, ago. he had 40 in 2020. He did, yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Like, he was never in the top tier of, like, statistically elite quarterbacks. Right? Right. And so, like, look, I bitched about this forever, and I said, dude, don't pay this guy. Why would you ever pay this guy? Uh, he's in the twilight years, just like the queen was, RIP, right before she died. His arm is dead. We're going to have to cut that off and bury it. Uh, his arm is dead. That team is dead. Because now they got $250 million in a guy who can't throw the fucking ball. And, uh, and the Denver Broncos are fucked yeah, they because are, of it. They are super fucked. Because they've got good receivers. Um, they got a pretty decent defense as well. I mean, for that defense to be on the field as much as they were last night and hold those guys to 12 points, including overtime. Well, I mean, it was Matt Ryan whose arm is also done. Right. right. Like right. he's clearly done. He he should retire after this year, I think. I, I agree. hundred percent. I mean, uh and you know, as the game la- I knew the game was gonna be shit last night anyways because fucking Taylor was out mm-hmm. and that's the only offensive weapon on either side of the ball. Yeah. Right. So it's like, what the fuck? The other part of this that happened last <laughs> night is what we've been talking about on the show for the last week or so is the CTE. Mm-hmm. And it just keeps getting worse and worse. That was hard to watch. Bob, if you could show the clip of, uh, uh, of Homeboy getting knocked out last night and then trying to get to his feet. Um, I don't know what's stranger, the fact that this has happened in back-to-back Amazon Prime games. Mm. Um, and, I, and I know a lot of people last night online were bitching, of like, why don't the announcers say anything? Or Like, I, I was so stunned by seeing it that I was like, I don't know really what you can say. I don't think I've seen guys stumble this much. Are players just getting faster? What is it? Because I, I can't figure out what's going on right now. <sighs> That's a good question, man. I don't know. I mean, it, it could be the strength of the players or something like that, but this particular one, may, maybe it's like they have, – have players changed the neck rolls that they wear? I know that uh, linebackers were, for a while, the only ones that wore the big ones. But, right. But other players still wore some sort of neck, neck support. Maybe they stopped doing that because what I'm seeing, even with the uh, the Tua one, I don't think it was uh, cr- it was the impact of the head on the ground. I think it was the, the snap, right? The, yeah, the whiplash. The, the whiplash. On the yeah. second hit, for sure. Yeah. On the yeah. second one, for sure. And that's what this one looked like to me as well. I, you don't see his head impact the ground really hard. No, but I, I think it was a helmet to helmet. Bob, go ahead and play this. We well, might he got hit from behind too. We're definitely getting dinged. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point. Well, we're getting four dollars from YouTube, and because we keep showing clips. Well, can you not find it on uh, on Twitter? It doesn't matter. The it NFL is will. This is on Twitter. We'll yeah. we'll ding you no matter what. Mm. Okay, but we can show it. Go go back. Yeah, go back and show this. It's worth it at this point. Like, who cares? I'll take it down now, Bob. But uh, I don't I don't know why. It's more prevalent this year than it seems like it has been in recent years. Or do they just cut away? Like, I, I can't figure out what's going on in the NFL. I think guys like that would have normally stayed on the ground. I may, this is speculation on my part. I'm just trying to think through this problem. Uh, but maybe they're trying to walk off the field because they know something's wrong and they don't want to fucking get into protocol, right? Mm. So they're trying to do more than what they would normally be able to do just to avoid getting out of the game. Because remember, Naeem Hines has been the starting running back until Taylor showed up last year for a while right. in Indy. And now he's, like, relegated. This might be his last game, to be honest. They're down to, their, I think, their third or fourth string now at this point. Taylor will be back relatively soon. But, yeah, they're fucked. Yeah. But, I mean, the team is shit anyway, so I don't think they care at this point. But I'm talking about Naeem Hines. That might be his last professional game right Yes, there. yes. I mean, that, that was a, a violent, violent hit right there. And I, I don't know if he's going to come back. <clears throat> and he's only 25 years old, too. But, like, if I'm 25 and I get hit, like that, although I guess when I was 25, I did get hit like that with explosions and shit. Yeah. And we just keep doing it. Look, man, he has a three-year, $18 million contract. He's good to go. Get the fuck out of there. Hines? Yeah. Uh, I think you got to play it out, though, right, to get the money? He got No, he got a $6 million signing bonus and $12 million guaranteed. I think we're just putting the spotlight under this shit because of what happened to Tua. This happens all the time. This this is not new. Well, you know, it's it's, it's interesting you brought that up because uh, Joe Burrow had a comment about it, and he said, look, man, I, I've been fucking dazed a million times where I've had concussions and then just kept playing. Well, we talked to John Walburn about it uh, from uh, Power right. Power Athlete. Yeah, yeah. You guys know him. He was a fucking, well, Delco, you should know him. He was an, uh, an excellent lineman for the Philadelphia Eagles mm-hmm. for some time, and you know, I think uh, we asked him, like, well, how, how frequently do you think you got 
concussion. He goes, what do you mean by a concussion? Like many concussions where you see stars pretty much on every fucking play. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. back then they were using the goddamn uh, the bucket helmets, basically, that have no protection. Yeah. I mean, it has protection if uh, somebody hit you in the head with a bat. It's not going to split your head open. But as far as making contact with another helmet or something like that, it doesn't do shit. And it's like every play, you fucking lift up and a guy's helmet hits your helmet. And you play, play, probably in his era too. I remember watching this in some concussion documentary. They played higher back then because the AstroTurf, the, the, like the shit in the office right here is so shitty to play on that nobody wanted to touch the ground because you fuck your arms and yeah. legs oh, up and yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. So they play, like all the hits started to get higher up because it's because the ground was no longer soft. Yeah. And now you have players hitting other players causing concussions in practice. Uh, did you see Draymond Green knock out Jordan Poole? I didn't see the video. Oh, no. dude. So this is a huge controversy today. Uh, it appears as if an is intern. It, is, is it, though, a huge controversy? Because well, here, here, this used to happen at Jordan's practices all the time. Right. I, this is good for the team. I agree. So here's the controversy around it. Somebody leaked the video from inside the Warriors mm, organization. That's fucked up. It is. And so they're, they're speculating that it could be an intern. Uh, Bob, if you want to play that clip right here. Yeah, now everybody's paycheck. asking. Yeah, exactly. But what was the paycheck for this? Um, because usually a video like this is 50 or 100K. Are you not concerned about the long <laughs> term of your uh, like of your career that I'm an intern no fuck that give me the 50k okay play I mean, the video we'll see yeah have you seen this mm -mm. all right so there's Draymond Green right there boom he's talking kind of shit behind his mm. back doesn't really seem serious Jordan Poole is right there underneath the basket um he's saying something it looks like under his breath they're kind of going back and forth it looks like Dr Draymond is joking with him and then all of a sudden nah not really joking anymore bud uh, I'm going to come and talk to your face about it. Ooh, yeah. nice shot. Uh, yep, sure was. Slapped him on one punch. Slapped I, him on one punch. I, I'm kind of, you know, I know Draymond got up in his face first, but uh, he's that's still like, to me, that's still what we call grab you by the chin strap leadership. Sometimes you got to, like when it's an alpha and alpha situation, you have to get up in people's faces and challenge them. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. just how it is. It's yeah. the fucking the jungle out there, man. I mean... Sometimes a guy, and I've seen it, fucking NCOs that are five foot six grab a fucking six one dude by his chin strap and say, hey, motherfucker, get your shit together. Because it's not about how big or tough you think you are. It's about performing because mm -hmm. we're here to win. You know, obviously the stakes are higher in war than they are in basketball. But when I heard that story about Jordan, uh, Michael Jordan and Steve Kerr getting into it, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Punch him in the that's, face. That's the fucking way it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if, if you go to a team room, in, uh, in the 82nd Airborne right now, what you're going to see is probably two dudes fighting on the ground and everybody else sitting around watching. Yeah, yeah but Draymond's going to have to score more than six points a game to do that. Draymond's well, got four rings. Yeah, exactly. So he can do whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, yeah. uh, and and he, more than likely, from what everything uh, I've heard, he's the leader of that team. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, they would have bounced this guy years ago uh, when he fucked his team against the Cavaliers in that playoff series. But uh, as far as what Dan's saying, yes, that did happen with Jordan and Steve Kerr. Kurt ended up hitting the game-winning three-pointer mm. that year to win the championship. Um, I don't know what was said here, but the problem is now that this video has been leaked, it is public, the Warriors are going to have to respond, and it's probably going to be a well, lengthy suspension. No, nah, I don't think so. You know, they, said they're gonna fine? Hand, they said they're going to handle it internally. Um, I, I think it sets a bad precedent to suspend him, to be honest. I do, too. Like, that's I not, do, too. The, the reason you can hear Jordan uh, when, uh, in, in the last dance – describe the purpose of that he goes i get in people's asses because i need to know when shit's on the line they're going to be there to fight right yeah and once they demonstrate that they can fight that time then it's over that's the reason scott whatever the fuck his name is uh from that last bulls team what the fuck is his name the guy that he just ruined this motherfucker oh uh, uh god damn it what's his name fuck dude i forget watch the the fucking series yeah. you remember his name uh, uh scott pippen no <laughs> <laughs> no wasn't no. Scott Pippen? No. Uh, I, forget, uh, I forget the guy. Hold on, I'll name. look his name up. Burrell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Byron, yeah. Byron, Byron Scott? No, no, no Scott no. Burrell. Scott Burrell. Uh, so Scott, Byron Scott's the guy who he crossed over or whatever, right? And he, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, called yeah. him Brian, and then he goes, Scott oh, your Burrell name's... is the guy he's yelling at in practice all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then yeah. and Burrell's response to it is just like, oh yeah, it's fucking funny. No, your res the response Jordan was looking for was for for Burrell literally to try to come fight him. Yeah, that's the response he was looking for, and you know. When you're in these situations where shit's on the line, it's like this whole stuff that came up with the with the seals.
blasting people in the face with yep. fucking CS gas and then and making them do shit. Man, I got to know that when shit's fucked up, when you're disoriented, when your fucking brain isn't working the best, that you're still going to make good decisions. Dude, I think, I don't know who leaked that SEAL video, but if there was ever a fucking social media op in terms of like fake outrage, I bet you I could go to Whole Foods right now and find everyone who doesn't have a natural hair color mm. and ask them, do you think that the Navy SEALs should be like s severely hazed or whatever during mm. their training? They'd be like, well, I mean, probably. Yeah. yeah. Like it doesn't, there's no way anyone is actually angry about that uh, and we have an update from espn as of like eight minutes ago here it says uh oh it's ramona shelburne she's dope uh the warrior the, the golden state warriors are now taking every legal course of action to discover how video of draymond green punching jordan Poole during a scuffle at practice on wednesday was made public uh, and then underneath that it says uh green just apologized to the team mm. and pool on thursday before Warriors coach Steve Kerr, uh, the general manager Bob Myers, uh, and teammates uh, Stephon Curry addressed the media regarding the incident. Uh, Friday morning was uh, obviously hours ago was uh, when TMZ published this video. Um, and they are aggressively investigating this. Yeah, they should. I mean, you can't have that stuff. Like you, for the team to work properly, all this stuff has to happen behind closed doors, the good mm -hmm. stuff and the bad stuff. It's why Draymond got in trouble before, not because he was yelling but because people outside heard it. That's why he got in trouble. You know what I mean? And this, I mean, you can't really say this is his fault. The action is his fault, but the the outcome, I don't think it is. I mean, you it, that's based, that video is basically why Kevin Durant no longer plays in Golden State. Mm -hmm. Right. But internally, does this help or hurt, you think, at this point? Because the I, video went public. It depends on uh, Jordan Poole, right? And it depends on how he reacts to it, which is what Draymond's trying to figure out. He's doing the, the organization a favor right now to find out if Jordan Poole is a bitch or if he's a fucking, if he's like Steph and Clay, think about like Steph Curry is one of the best basketball players ever. Yep, he's the certainly the best shooter ever. Great, same, same with Clay. I, great look, ball handler. Yeah, yeah uh, but Clay, Clay's not necessarily in the same league as, as Steph Curry. But right? shooter wise, um, he's he's one of the best pure shooters of yeah, all time for sure. And well, I know he is the best shooter of all time. There's no question about that. But throughout this entire run for the Warriors. He's a, he's a point guard, but he's given that job over to Draymond Green, right, because he knows he's better at shooting. Mm -hmm. He's uh, shared the shooting responsibilities with the second best probably shooter of all time, at least a top five shooter of all time. And then when another dominant player came in to the, uh, to the team, didn't fucking, wasn't a problem. Yeah. You, there's no other team, like look at how LeBron plays it's he's still going to get his you know what i mean yeah like he's there's no season where lebron is going to score 20 points a game it's 26 to 30 points a game every year no matter who else is on that team and that's what he's looking for jordan Poole is a cocky motherfucker and that cockiness makes him a really good player but to get to the next level when steph and clay start to get older and they need jordan Poole more right he's got to be the guy that does all this stuff right and he's either going to be able to do it or he's not and this is how you find out. You fucking put him against the wall and see what happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, I know that's what Draymond's thinking. His, he is a very, very smart man, and he's a very good leader. But I think his decision-making from, from time to time is probably questionable, to be honest. But It is, but I, like, my biggest issue with all this is this is twice now in the last week that we've had this, right? Uh, NBA, Navy SEALs, it's pretty much every form of life mm -hmm. where th there can be no conflict anymore. Uh, or else it's bad for everybody and oh my gosh, we should leak videos and tell the press mm -hmm. and everything's crazy and bad and all that other shit. But this has been going on for years and years and years. Uh, and this is how teams build. You forgive each other, you move on. Uh, and, I, and I think in most instances, it makes you better, um, especially the Warriors. If you look at the Warriors, they just won the championship. Mm -hmm. They could have fucking coasted, been lazy. You don't have to scream at people unless you fucking care. You're in practice now three weeks before the regular season mm -hmm. starts at this point. Unless you care about winning a championship, you don't do shit like this. Yeah. Clearly, Draymond mm -hmm. cares about winning another championship. Well, it's like um, if you – to avoid – the stuff that happened. Like, I would love to see Mahomes getting into fights with his offensive line like this. And he might. You know we, I mean? I mean, we might not see it. Yeah. Maybe he does and we never see it. Yeah. yeah. Be nice. I mean, th this is what I expect out of a fucking leader. Yeah. I mean, you challenge know, people. You never heard the conversation he had with his brother, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. That, exactly. that motherfucker disappeared off the face of the yeah. planet. We've never heard from Jackson Mahomes again after last season. And I'm not, yeah, again, I'm not like, you shouldn't go around punching people in the face. No. No. That, that was a mistake by Draymond. Draymond should have. 
he should have known ahead of time that he was antagonizing the kid looking for uh, a response. And when he pushed him, he should have been, yeah, that's the fucking fire I was looking for. That should have been his response. Right. But unfortunately, it got out of hand. It happens sometimes. He just needed content for his podcast. <laughs> does he have a podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah of he course does. He yeah. has a fucking podcast. On, on fucking something podcast. or other? I don't know. Undisputed? Is that it? Uh, who knows? Who fucking Low blow. knows? Low blow. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. I who knows? He, I don't think that's it because he and fucking LeBron own Major League Pickleball now. Oh, is it Draymond too? God damn it's it. LeBron and Draymond and a couple other people. They're bros. They, he was just on, or uh, he, I think he was just on again. Yeah, LeBron's yeah they, like, he does the show. show. But Draymond, yeah. yeah, he's a podcaster. Uh, I'm pretty sure like Evan Turner and uh, Iggy have a podcast together. Yeah. I mean, to, Draymond, I don't know who else will be on the show, but Draymond will be the guy that replaces uh, Charles Barkley on TNT. Yeah, they've, he's already signed that point, deal, yeah. so he's he's in. It'll be interesting to see who else from the league makes it onto that show. I think uh, if he wasn't, Gilbert Arenas would probably be one of them if he didn't, you know, pull a gun on people. Yeah, Cause he's, yeah. He's of, funny. Of all the fucking basketball people I've met in my life, yeah. he's the smartest motherfucker I've ever met. And he's really entertaining. Yeah. Well, you see, he is he's super a great guest. Yeah. He's a yeah. great guest. But he's also like just hearing him break down the X's and O's. Like game. He he's just like talking about strategy in the league off camera with us uh-huh. uh, a, a year ago. And I'm like, okay, that's not really what I expected to hear from you, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I expected to hear, but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't like. Uh, uh, Greg Popovich talking. That's what he sounded like. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. This dude is like super smart. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, but that's going on throughout the league and everything else. I just think we're, fu- we're fucked in general as a nation. And, uh, and that's kind of it, you know? We'll be here week in and week out with you, I think. Uh, we'll see how this all shakes out. Because it's going to get a lot worse after this uh, midterm election. Because then you don't have to prop up the economy for anything at that point. Then it can all just go to shit. Especially if Republicans win the House and the Senate. It doesn't really matter at that point. You're like, mm-hmm. well, I don't have to fucking care what happens. I'm out of here anyway. So, yeah, it's going to get uh, it's gonna get dark, kids. Hopefully, we will be here. Who's in the studio? Do you come, come on up for Drinking Bro of the Week. Are you allowed to come on camera? Yeah, there it is. Come on up. He's had about eight or nine hard AF seltzers up here. And uh, take your time, dude. Take your time. You're like the fisherman. We were like, open the fish, dude. You're taking your time, moseying on through. Look at that. Look at this guy. Proud of you. Where do you work that you don't have to wear sleeves like that? I love it. I'm jealous, by the way. Not even fucking making fun. It's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, Put the mic about an inch from your face. There you go. Uh, Tell everybody your name. Uh, Robbie Clifton. Yeah, Robbie. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. Uh, you don't have to wear headphones. It's just for okay. me. My, my voice is loud as shit. And if I don't wear them, it'll be even louder and I'll be more obnoxious, <laughs> which might be impossible. Uh, how long have you been listening to the show? Oh, man. I want to say episode 80. Okay. That's it's very specific. Yeah. Just Fuck yeah. One too long after was the B&B, Airbnb. Oh, yeah. Well, we had uh, two strangers fuck live on air. That was awesome. It's amazing that still exists and then it's still up. <laughs> Dead it serious. Is. It is. It's crazy, isn't it? It's it's wild. That's still out there. Yeah, dude. We've done so, including fake news. I think at this point we've done close to fourteen hundred episodes oh. on Drinking Bros. So if you've been listening since eighty, you're a good thirteen hundred deep at this point. It's been a while. Hey, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, you know the drill. Who would you like mm-hmm. to give the Drinking Bro of the Week to? Uh, first of all, apologize. My voice is leaving me this week. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. it. Allergies, but uh. Got two. One is y'all. Oh, thanks, man. It is definitely y'all. Y'all have, y'all have helped me through hard times before. Actually, within a year, I had a pretty hard time. And they, y'all helped me through it. And the uh, other person would be my wife. Okay. She helped me through it. And uh, uh, what's her name? Kim. Kim. Okay. Yeah. Is she listening to the show, or does she know you listen to the show? She definitely knows I listen to it. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll try to get her to listen to it, but she can Nah, I get nah. it. I get it. We have we have three percent, I think, demo in women. Like we lost them today, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. We were telling them to go cook and clean. We want the suffer jack to end. I get it, dude. I mean, I got dirty dishes at home. <laughs> I mean I'm on vacation. I I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> what are you doing in real life? Uh, I work for oil, in the oil field. Oh, right on. Yeah. How is that, by the way? Is it oh, is yeah. it crazy? What are the hours like? For me personally, yeah, it can be pretty bad. It, it 
I work for a small company. Okay. Small drilling mom and pop company. It it can be here lately it's been better for me on my end, mm. but it it can be pretty rough. Anywhere to fourteen to sixteen sometimes. A day? Then, yeah. Jesus Christ. But it's been it'll go for months when the average is like nine. Okay. To 10. So it it can be go in and out. And then you get what, two months off? I don't. Oh, you don't? No. So you just keep going all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Is the pay insane? Like, do you get a like? Is the salary amazing that that you're willing to stick that out? It, if I was working for a bigger company, the pain would be insane. I mean, it's not bad where I'm at. It's it's really not. Okay. It's pretty close to like, say, if I was working for Neighbors or H and P, it's pretty close to it. But it, it's I don't get the breaks in between. Mm. And uh, especially like nowadays, I used to be a driller. I was a driller for, geez, about eight years i've been with the company since 09 and uh but like now it's kind of finally it's kind of chilled out for me because now I, I got out of drilling now i'm more on the welding and fabrication side of it for okay. the same company yeah for the same company yeah and they've been good to you how long you worked there since 09 oh yeah great great so there is some form of job security does the recession yeah. worry you at all it, everything it that's does. going on it does it is I would say this year it kind of feels – see, I, I normally work in South Texas. Mm -hmm. Now, I would say that coming up, it kind of feels like it's busy work. Everybody's trying to get get that work in mm -hmm. as fast as qu – despite whether or not how advanced the green technology gets, right. it still kind of got the industry somewhat worried. Okay. Because there are also some of the bigger investments – they invest a shit ton of money into it at the same time, but it, it it it's just weird right now. It's up and down. Okay, at least for us, definitely. Shit. Well, look, man. <clears throat> I, I hope you're able to stick it out and get through it. Uh, obviously, it's going to get worse coming up oh, here, yeah. and we all oh, know yeah. it. I mean, anybody who went through a like fucking brutal and we're on that same trajectory right now mm -hmm. uh, just looking at the market looking at the interest rates uh and everything else uh i'm one of those people uh that's going through it. everybody here <sighs> as well so um uh I hopefully we'll be here every single day uh and able to put on shows and do all that stuff but uh uh cheers man and we greatly oh, yeah. appreciate you coming in being on the show and uh and being a part of it Oh, yeah. Uh, Y'all are very appreciated in the oil field, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate I'll go. I'll go out there and snort some oil with you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to get that shit from West Texas. Oh, you got to – yeah, you got to yeah. get the good it's shit. Like, it's almost like snorting honey. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> got to get the good shit. Yeah. We appreciate you being here. If you're in Austin, Texas, want to stop in, get drunk, and see a live show, uh, we're here. I'll give you the address because we don't give a fuck. It's 9221. Highway 290 West, Austin, Texas, 78736. Pop on in, see a live show, have some hard AF seltzers. We're here for as long as we can be. Uh, go to iTunes, rate the show a five-star, and leave a quick review. Also, go to Spotify. Just click a five-star, no review necessary there. And, uh, and it helps with advertisers, which, let's face it, uh, we're going to need them coming up to get us through all this shit. For D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Podcast. Good night, everyone.